How's it going everyone? Landon here with Late Model Restoration. Today I'm going to be checking out the needed oil system components when building or rebuilding a 302 or 351 based push rod small block Ford engine. The oil system to any engine is extremely crucial. From the pan, pump, and gasket, all of these components should always be considered top priority just like when selecting a set of heads or a camshaft. Whether you're freshening up a stock bottom end or you're building a short block from the bottom up, I'm going to cover the needed oil system components to help finish your Pushrod 302 or 351 based engine. Up first is your oil pan. We carry a few different options from your stock style replacement to a Canton drag race or road race specific oil pan. Pair that up with a high quality replacement oil pump which will be available for the 302 and any of you guys swapping to a 351. Keep the oil in the pan with a one-piece gasket from Ford Racing. Those will be available for a 302 or 351 based application. A key contributor to a sealed oil pan or pan rails. 5 Resto offers pan rails for both 302 and 351 engines and will help evenly secure your pan to the bottom of the engine block. A few other items you'll definitely need will be oil pump bolts, oil pan bolts, and a pump drive shaft. All of these items will be made by ARP and will feature a high quality black oxide steel construction. The remaining items needed will be a pickup tube or also referred to as an oil pump screen, dipstick and for you 84 to 95 owners a low oil level sensor and gasket. Of course, don't forget your oil filter which is a Motocraft FL-1A. Follow along guys as we walk you through the steps on installing these oil system components onto your 302 or 351 short block or factory rebuild project. In this particular video, we used ARP hardware and 50 Resto components to assemble this portion of our 302. Before you begin, it is in your best interest to have a clean working area and to clean all of your parts prior to install. Also, it is recommended that you assemble the front of your engine before installing these oil system components. That video can be viewed by clicking the link in the video description. With the engine upside down on your stand, first position one of the oil pump gaskets onto the block. Slide the ARP oil pump drive shaft into the hole directly behind the front main bearing cap. Ensure that the end with the star washer is facing down toward the block. This will keep the oil pump drive shaft from coming out of the engine when removing a distributor. Position the oil pump over the end of the oil pump drive shaft and align the pump with the bolt holes. Loosely thread two of the four oil pump bolts and washers into the engine block. Torque to 35 foot pounds. Hand tighten the four ARP oil pan studs with the large thread diameter into the bolt holes closest to the front and rear main seals. Now, hand tighten the remaining oil pan studs into the engine block. Position the oil pump pickup tube or screen onto the stud located on the center thrust bearing cap and the oil pump. Be sure and position the other gasket in between the pickup tube and oil pump. Hand tighten the bolts and washers on the oil pump and the nut for the stud. Torque the bolts to 20 foot-pounds and the nut to 35 foot-pounds. Apply a small amount of RTV to the timing cover and engine block mating points, as well as the two corners at the timing cover and the two corners at the rear main cap. Position the oil pan gasket over the studs. Reapply a small amount of RTV to the two corners at the timing cover and the two corners at the rear main cap. Position the oil pan and pan rails over the studs and hand tighten the nuts. Remember, four nuts will have a larger thread diameter and will secure the pan at the locations closest to the front and rear main seals. Starting at the center most studs, torque the nuts to 10 foot pounds. If you'd like, you can go back over the nuts in the same sequence to ensure they are all at 10 foot pounds. If your car is equipped with a low oil level sensor connection, lightly oil the gasket and carefully tighten the new sensor. Hand tighten your new oil filter, double and triple check everything, and that completes the installation of the oil system components. If you want to see more videos for your Fox Body Mustang, then you have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All of the needed links are in the video description for you guys, so head on over to Late Model Restoration and pick up some oil system components for your 302 or 351 base small block Ford engine. 